In this English lesson, I wanted to help you understand three meanings of the phrase to make up. There's probably more, but we should get started if I have to explain three in less than a minute. The first meaning of this verb is to tell a story that isn't true. Often kids will make up a story when you ask them about something. They might not always tell you the truth. The other way we use this phrase is to talk about catching up on work or something that you missed. Maybe you usually work eight hours a day and one day you only work six. You will need to make up those hours later in the week. So you might have to work for 10 hours a day later or a couple days later. And then the other way we use this phrase is when two people who are romantically involved with each other have a fight and after the fight they will make up. When you make up with someone it means that you were having a disagreement but you still like each other or love each other and you decide that you're going to make up. The second phrase I want to teach you today is the phrase to make out. Now I'm going to teach you two meanings of this phrase. The first is when you ask someone how something went you can say uh, you can ask this question how did you make out so let's say my son is going to go do some work for me on the farm when he's done the work i could say to, the, to him how did you make out with that work and basically i'm just asking him how things went and the other one is a little more uh, i might blush as i'm talking about this but to make out means to kiss someone. So if you know a couple who are dating, they probably sometimes park on the side of the road somewhere and make out. That means that they kiss each other. I just don't know how to explain that any differently. I'm starting to get embarrassed. I don't know why. Love and romance is all around us and sometimes people want to kiss. Sometimes they want to make out. So to review, to make up can mean to create a story that isn't true. It can mean to catch up on work that you missed and it can mean Oh, I forgot the third meaning. It can mean <laughs> when you have a fight with someone who you are in a relationship with, you might make up later. And then to make out can mean uh, to kiss someone. Maybe if you uh, have ever dated someone in your life, you're familiar with the phrase to make out. Um, and it can also be used in a question when you say, how did you make out? Um, when you're asking someone how something went. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. Uh, as we do that, I should say, I shouldn't try to uh, to explain phrases that have two or three meanings. It takes a long time, but let's keep going. Alexi has this comment. Luckily, after years of learning English, I know the meaning of the word exasperate. Well, it's about time. Thank you for the lesson, Bob. It was interesting to know about the silos as well. And my response was this, learning English can be exasperating. So thank you, Alexi, for that comment. Yes, learning the English language can be extremely exasperating. Um, I'm glad that you were able to learn that word a long time ago. Um, and I'm glad that you were able to use the phrase, it's about time, while you were making your comment. Good work all around. Uh, I'm walking this way because in my video on my bigger channel yesterday, I was showing you that the farmer across the river was baling hay. And they are now done. All of the hay has been baled and cleaned up. I'm always amazed by how fast that goes nowadays. When I was a kid, baling a field of hay that big would have taken a really long time and it would have all been done with manual labor. Um, they do it all with tractors. A tractor with a baler, a tractor with a wagon, and then a tractor that kind of rakes up the hay and puts it in long rows that we call windrows. So pretty cool. All of their hay is cut and baled, and I haven't even started on mine yet. Anyways, see you in a couple days with another English lesson. Bye.